Let's continue on evaluating some limits. So in number one, I have the limit as x approaches zero of sine 3x over x. Now this looks very, very similar to sine x over x, but how can I manipulate this limit to look like that special limit that we've memorized? So what I can do is multiply this whole fraction numerator and denominator by three. So now I have the limit as x approaches zero of three sine three x over three x. So this is starting to look a lot more like um, my special sine x over x limit, but it looks a little different. So let me let theta equal three x. And remember, as x approaches zero, theta will also approach zero. Because if x is zero, three x is approaching zero. So this becomes the limit as theta approaches zero of three sine theta over theta. So that's the same as three times the limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta. So we know that the limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta is one, and three times one is three. So let's check out number two. Sine x minus 2x all over x limit as x approaches 0. How can I manipulate this and apply it to some limits that we know already? So I can break this up into two limits. The limit of sine x over x minus the limit of 2x over x. Well, sine x over x the limit as x approaches zero is one, minus, well, x over x cancels two, so my answer is negative one. Now, this little trick that we did with sine x, um, um, sine of kx over x and the reciprocal, and then thinking back to our first example with tangent x, let's see if you can come up with a rule for each one of these, and we will confirm the next time we meet. But otherwise, let's move on to trying some more limits together.